Hey guys, welcome back to DN Dual Commentary. So this duel just started. So it's between uh, the the Bezam here at the Bezam, the Bezam, how you pronounce it, at 11:56 uh, here, and Wencho here at 11:58. So it's Constellar versus Noble Knights, and also we have Stanzi. So uh, yeah, so I kind of I kind of messed up with the whole recording thing. I accidentally had on plus, but uh, pretty much the first turn, Wencho activated Tanky, searched for Bear, and uh, played Cos. And set one card, passed to to uh, the Bazam here, have a pronounce his name. Then he summoned Madrod, equipped the Noble Arm Destiny, tried to activate his effect, got Fiendish Chain, passed it back to one show. One show summoned another cost, attacked uh, over the the Madrod, and then made a please. So you're all cut out. There you go. I apologize. It's going to take me a little while to get in, you know, into the groove of this whole thing, you know. I want to get a, a, the duel started early. <laughs> oh, there goes the bear. Bear throw the chair. Never set a monster when you know you got that bear. No. Oh. So he destroyed, uh. Dristan? Dristan here. Do you know Noble Knight Stanzi? Yeah, I know him. I've played him a fair bit, so I know him. Okay, because. They have oh, mad. Oh, shit, it's the gores. They have mad consistency issues. Like, real mad fucking consistency issues. It's the gores. So, so far from Winchoke here, he hasn't done anything that I haven't seen out of any regular Constellar player, so. No. So the thing is, you can. It was oh. just. Didn't he just play it to get the bear, Didn't and then he, he no, the no, chat? he no, he had the bear. He had the bear. All right. Yeah, that tanky was activated previously, so yeah, he can do that. All right, fair enough. Another cost. All right. And then a face down. Yep, and one face down. Oh, he wants to bounce back. Interesting. So I'm guessing he wants to rip I'm out. I'm guessing the that was on the end phase of his turn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the top deck rescue rabbit. Nice and Bounce powerful. Up. Oh. I personally would have waited for him to play the rabbit effect. Yeah. And then well, no, I would have no, bounced it one of the cards that he got, so the other gets killed, and then what, he's got a dead card in his hand, pretty much. Yeah. I would have waited then. So this guy's main decking Valor, which is definitely a good card against rescue rabbit, unlike Fiendish Chain, which, you know... It can hop out of the way off. Yep. Valor, I think, is always going to be a card that's decent, but I don't think it's going to be a, It's not going to be as good as it used to. Yeah, it's starting to go downhill when it comes to Max that card. C, however, Max C, I think, is going to be a card that, especially with pendulums, gets oh, better. Oh, and the soul oh. charge! Fuck. Oh, fuck. Just when you thought that, the Constellar player had it locked down. Oh, he's going to play the Max C. <laughs> oh, Max C. Too. Well, all the monsters are summoned simultaneously, so he'll Yeah, so he only gets one draw. Damn. Nice and powerful place. Soul Charge. It's a card that's broke as fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright. So, he's exiting into... 101? No. Exton. One, two... No! Ragnar Zero! Ragnar Zero! Alright, well, he's gonna draw a card because it is a spell speed 2 card. So I guess he'll be going ahead and popping that bear. I'm surprised because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, what? It's no, not a beast it's, warrior. it's not a beast warrior. We got the first misplay of the, of the series, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, really? It's not getting it. Yeah, bear can die, but not. Yeah, bear can die, but not, not Pleiades. Pleiades is a warrior. I'm surprised he didn't go to Exton, because he would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to his opponents. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, I would have made Exiton. And then at least Exiton could have, Exiton could have changed since his spell speed, too. So even Pleiades, even if he would have bounced him, he still would have got his effect. But I guess. And now he's going to put the, the Ragnar Zero back. Which is a pretty smart play, because I know his, he'll probably be summoning Koss or one of those cards this turn, so... Oh, no, oh, Pollux. Yeah, Pollux. Pollux Koss, another Pleiades? Uh, Actually, oh. it's a French It's a French name, so it's a silent act, so it's Pollux. Oh. Yeah. That's Yu-Gi-Oh! Trivia of the day for you. I hate you. You <laughs> 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 can, can tell me how to pronounce my deck's name. My deck's <laughs> card. Then how do you say the, the special summon one? How do you pronounce that name? Which one's that? The I I don't want to say it. I think it's the Algeidi or Al. How do you say that one? 
Algidi. Algidi? Okay. No, no, so he's taking. And also, 19. from the Yu Gi Oh fact, uh, Constella Sombre actually has. Um, actually, in Yu Gi Oh trivia, Constella Sombre is the god that gave the uh, Yang Zing monsters their cosmic powers. Oh, wow. Yeah, according to the wiki. Alright, well, that's probably game. Yep. Yeah, like you're yeah, pretty fucked. Yep. So, See yep. round one goes to Constella. Alright. I, I'm so happy, happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, as soon as I saw this deck, I saw this duel going uh, when chose where I was like, yep, Daniel's going to be one happy chappy. Hey, Constellas. <laughs> <laughs> I think Constellas are still going to be really good as long as Polides is around. If Polides ever got, like, banned or limited, well, not limited, but if it ever got banned or something. I'd just take the deck rat, and throw it in the trash. I just... It, it, it just wouldn't be worth making Constellas anymore. No. But, as long as, as long as Pelides is around, Pelides is just so good. He's like compulsive. But doesn't some crack. deserve to be hit. It's not like Constellar attacking or anything. He's I know he's compulsive on crack. <laughs> That's what makes him good. <laughs> Since I saw that fucker, I'm like, this is broke. <laughs> he's like, yep, okay. Uh, yeah, oh. Fucking Call the Haunted? Not Call the Haunted. <laughs> yeah. Compulse down to one. No, but you can have that triple Pelides, you know. Fuck yeah, that. sure, why not? <laughs> hey, fairness. Oh. The, the Bazam is going first, so he's going to go ahead and pot. Ooh, Curry Bandit? Curry in Bandit? In really? fucking Noble Knights? Why? Why? I don't know. Because you can't get the. F All the monsters would. <laughs> I don't know. Pro play, man. Look, 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 look. Look at his rating. Now look at your rating. Alright, scrub, noob. Yeah, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm on about, clearly, you know. Okay. And he's okay. playing the Land Landralston, which no one ever plays. Okay. Alright, which one do you want? What is he getting back? I, I would like personally... I would personally get the Noble Arms back. What, what, was, what was that? The fucking elephant card? Did you see that? The fucking what? elephant card? The one where you like, oh, do you like tribute a normal monster and draw two cards or something like that? A white uh, elephant thing. Yeah, yeah. He, he's playing that. I yeah, guess. most of most of them count as normal monsters until equipped with a noble arms card, so you can use it to uh, get rid and draw two. So it's pretty good. No, oh, it's interesting. Yeah, it's an interesting tech. Please have an MST. <laughs> you got that MST? You better, because yeah. that thing's. Pollux. How much you want to bet? Pollux. Bottomless. Yeah, Pollu. That sounds stupid. I like Pollux better. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, so the attack goes through. That goes through too. Damn. That must be like a, a solemn warning or something. Yeah. And he wants to hit the Pleiades. Or Compulse. Yeah. So he'd rather just take it on the chin than deal with it. Alright. Is it Pleiades time? Woo, Pleiades! I don't know if he has got Prohibition in his side deck, but if he has, he should play Prohibition, and he should call Madraw, because Madraw is the stuff that starts all the Noble Knight stuff off. Oh, well, thank you for if you telling me that. If you can shut Madraw out or stop its effect going off, because the normal play is go Madraw, equip it with any Noble Arms, it's five, it gets an effect then, and then you use Madrot's effect to get the Boars out of the deck, the Noble Arms card dies and re-equips onto Boars, Boars' effect then lets you get a Noble Arms and put two to the grave, because you show three to your opponents who go to the grave and one goes to your hand, and then you equip the other Noble Arms back onto Madrot, well, they're both five. He's clearly not you doing that play this turn. Yeah, they're both five, you exceed into their five, and then you do that. And then you equip, 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 equip. And then you equip all the stuff, and then you just go off and that. And you're like, you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> yeah. Just look at my monster. Uh, look at Noble it. Knight Brothers. Ew, that card's bad. In Noble hey, Knights. hey, look at his rating, look at yours. Fuck this guy's rating. <laughs> I don't fucking care. <laughs> Will this video Dude, be short? He's playing, not... like, he's playing like really weird, cute, but weird text, like that fucking white elephant card. Will we be able to see a game three? 
At the rate it's going, probably not. <laughs> and aren't you glad that people are taking out Dark Hole out of their deck? Yeah. I guess. I'll take out Book of Moon before I take out Dark Hole. Oh me. yeah, if I have to have one limited spell, Dark Hole. Just because the chance if you draw it, it can change everything. Damn straight. Like, I, fuck, fuck your deal. opponent has a load of monsters and you draw a Book of Moon, you're fucked. Your opponent has a load of monsters, you draw a Dark Hole. You're probably going to wipe the board and just reset the door. Alright, because... Fuck Pleadies. Dark Hole that bitch. Unless I have Pleadies then. Yeah, but... Fucking <laughs> yeah. hypocrite. Oh, uh, you can't be targeted now. Ooh. But, Pelides is bouncing the uh, Excalibur, I think. Ooh! And, uh, chain resolves he... backwards! Chain resolves backwards, so that won't fucking work. It won't fucking work. Damn, he got Pelides and Kapulse. Just, just fuck everything. I know, but misplay, that wouldn't work because the Kapulse would be targeting the thing that's equipped with Excalibur. Which it can't be targeted, and then Pelides would target the Excalibur. What? It wouldn't work that play that just happened, the Pelides on the Excalibur. He didn't use the Pelides on the Excalibur. What did he use it on? He didn't. He activated the Excalibur on it, and then he chained Kapulse. Oh, right, I saw him target. Oh, he, he was just looking, he was probably just looking at the card. Ah. Well, mm. you can't, well, you couldn't have chained Kapulse because Excalibur makes the monster unaffected. Doesn't the chain resolve backwards, so he'd be unaffected? Oh shit! Are we oh, you see? mean when it was? You mean as it was being equipped, not when it is yeah. equipped? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yep. Consolo TK. Well, yep, be careful, before. man. You know that he's playing Dragon Gore, so. I don't. I don't think we're gonna see again. Let's see if he knows the Constellar TK. I mean, he really doesn't have to pull it off. I guess yeah. he's just gonna make another Pleiades. Nope, he's gonna get some damage in first. Uh oh. If you got Drago Gorge, you better stop mm. it now. Swift Scarecrow? What the fuck is this guy playing in his Noble Knight build? Ah, oh, the dirty. Why? Why would you even. Make that into an M7? Make those two into another Pleiades? Yeah. Consoles are still really good. I don't oh, care yeah. what anyone says. Oh, yeah. They're still really good. It's just I think they still they need a little bit of spicing up. Once that fucking galaxy uh, soldier card comes out, Constellar's gonna get stupid with it. I mean, people are already trying artifacts with it. Yeah, but that's like a I little, always feel like I can scroll like my mouse over and look at his your, cards. I know, but that's like a little reliant on your opponent, the artifact bit. Yeah, you know what I mean. And it's over. Yeah. Once you win, so two zero his opponent. Noble Knight didn't even stand a chance against the Constellers. Damn. Noble Knights have consistency issues out the arse, though, so... Yeah. Alright, so, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of the uh, DN Duel Commentary. Thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another episode. Thanks for watching.